Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I want to make a video talking about how you can make massive bonuses selling in populated lobbies. Now in the past, I've talked a lot about this on live streams. I've mentioned this in videos, but I've never really made one specific video talking about the high demand bonus, how it works. And I'm going to be explaining it in a chart at the end of this video. A lot of people, you know, they sell in solo public lobbies or they sell in lobbies with very few people. So they don't really know how much money that you can get with the high demand bonus. I'm also going to show you guys a few ways to avoid people um, destroying your cargo. Now, a lot of people think that I'm crazy for selling in pop lobbies but in this video you're gonna see me going from 832 million to 848 million and when you or have a good double money event like the one we have here we have double money on crates we have double money on smugglers run and we also have double money on the bunker when you have a good double money event like that you will also get double money back with the high demand bonus now what is the high demand bonus the high demand bonus is a 1% bonus that you get per player in that lobby so let's say that you're selling a business, right? You're selling it solo and you have five other people in the lobby. So six people in total, you and five other people. When you sell that amount, you will get 5% extra bonus for each player. That's 1%. Now, a lot of people think that this isn't worth it. They think, oh, 1%, you know, that's not going to make that big of a deal. But if you sell this in a full 30 player lobby, you can get up to a maximum of 25%. Even if it's a 30 player lobby and you're selling it solo and there's 29 other people, the max that you can get is 25%. So you can make a 25% bonus. And for a lot of these businesses, you can really make some good money back. And I've stressed this a lot, but a lot of people still keep selling in solo public lobbies. So take a look at this. Um, I'm selling one of my cargo warehouses right here. This is double money on this. I'm selling 111 crates. Look at this. My friend delivers the truck here and instead of getting 4,400,000, I got 5,565,000 dollars. So I made a 1,160,000 dollar bonus selling in a populated lobby. This was a full lobby and I took advantage of the double money event week. So I was getting that $44,000 bonus. In a normal day, you could still take advantage of this bonus for almost all the businesses. For 111 crates normally, it will be selling for $2,200,000 and you would be getting a $22,000 bonus. You could get up to a $600,000 bonus, I believe, with um, selling in a populated lobby from that. So that's still pretty good. That's over half a million dollar bonus that you can get. But I know what a lot of people are going to say to me in the comments a lot of people are going to say you know why are you selling these populated lobbies because even if you do get a million dollars back with a good double money event or just selling it normally with the bonus you're still risking your stuff and people are going to tell me i don't want to risk that i don't want to risk it at all even if i get a lot of money back well i'm going to give you guys some tips to um, minimize your risk of getting your stuff destroyed. And I've been selling in these populated lobbies for a, a long time, and I often sell my nightclub, you know, in full 30-player lobbies with a lot of people that I don't know, and I don't get attacked. Very rarely do I get attacked, but when I do get attacked, I do actually have a few safety precautions that I take. Now, the first thing I recommend is if you are not playing in a free aim server, I highly recommend you do play in a free aim server. Now, in a free aim server, to go to free aim, all you need to do is you need to go to single player, you need to change your settings, your aim to free aim, and then Whenever you search for a lobby, you'll be put into a free aim server. And the reason I recommend playing in free aim servers is because free aim servers generally are just more peaceful. People are typically higher levels in there and they don't tend to go after cargo. Auto aim servers are much more aggressive. People are lower levels there. They don't have much to do. They're going to be going after cargo. So I'm not saying that people in free aim aren't going to go after your stuff, but it's much less likely. I've played in a lot of auto aim lobbies over the years and I've played in more free aim lobbies by now. And free aim lobbies, I can tell you, are just generally more peaceful than auto auto aim lobbies. Second thing that you want to do is wh whatever lobby that you're selling in, when you join like a full lobby to sell your stuff in, make sure that you keep an eye on what's going on in that lobby. Like take a look at the map, see if somebody's in a facility, you know, see what people are doing. If you see like a big war zone, a ton of people killing each other, I would not recommend selling in that lobby. But if you spend for like a few minutes on the map and you see nobody's killing anybody, that's usually a pretty good lobby. Also, if there's a war zone going on somewhere on the map and there's like a ton of people there, Usually it's, it's actually pretty safe because a lot of people are in that war zone all centered there and they're not going to be paying attention to you selling. But what do you do if despite all of that, somebody still goes after your stuff and tries to destroy it? What you have to do is you can do a number of things. You can close your application or you can find a new session. I personally recommend closing your application because it's, um, it's the quickest way to do it. I just hit two buttons and I close my application and this will work for all, all sales. You can close your application in all sales except except on um, 
import export sales import export sales they won't work on you'll you'll lose the cars but everything else it will work on but cars import export cars you should actually be selling it in small lobbies because import export there is no bonus there is no percent bonus for that there's also no percent bonus for selling special special crates you know those specific rare crates that you get with the ceo you don't get a percent bonus for that and for import export so those two you should always sell in small lobbies but everything else in this game you know the mc businesses the nightclub the hangar the bunker cargo warehouses you get this high demand bonus back so if you you ever have the chance of selling in a populated lobby Take that chance. You know, a lot of people, they keep asking me, they keep asking me all the time, you know, how are you making all this money quickly? How are you getting more money with these sales than normally? I sell in full 30 player lobbies and people in the comments section are going to say to me, you fill up your lobbies with friends. That's why nobody's attacking you. Sometimes, yeah, I'll be playing in lobbies with a ton of my friends in there. It'll be full of friends, but oftentimes I'm also just finding a random session and I just sell in there. I've been doing that for some time. So if you see somebody going after your stuff, just close your application or find a new session. Take a look at this. I'm going to show you guys proof of this. I'm in my warehouse right now. I have 111 crates. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hit the sell button. And all I basically do is I find a new session. If you see somebody going after you, find a new session. But make sure you're really quick with it. Really, really quick. You want to do that if somebody's going after you. If somebody blows up all your stuff, you're at a risk. If you don't do it quick enough, you can lose your stuff. But if you, the moment you see somebody going after you, just close the application or find a new session. You see I'm stuck in the clouds for a little bit here, but I connect. And all I lost was I lost three crates. Whenever you do this, you lose a tiny bit of product and cargo, but it's very minimal. So three crates in comparison to 111, that's almost nothing. I can just do one more resupply mission and just get those three crates back. And then I can go and sell it. Another tip that I can give is to always sell as a CEO when you have the option. Now, MC businesses, you can't sell as a CEO, but anything you have the option of selling as a CEO, you should. In live stream lobbies, you know, when I'm streaming, oftentimes we'll be selling as MC in that lobby. The reason we're selling as MC is because the associates get more money back. They get around 30, 35 grand for helping with most MC and bunker sales. The reason we do it in those lobbies with MCs is because those lobbies are largely safe. You know, they're stream lobbies, you know, we fill them up with friends, but when you're doing this in a full 30 player lobby with people you don't really know, you want to use a CEO. You want to sell it as a CEO and just activate ghost organization. Ghost organization will cost you $12,000 and for three minutes, you and your cargo will be hidden. So nobody will know where your cargo is. And by the time those three minutes are up, most of the time you'll be pretty close to finishing your mission. And then any griefer that tries to go after you, they won't have enough time to go after you and you sell the stuff and the $12,000 that you waste, you know, the bonus makes up way more the difference. So the bonus gets you even more money back. So it is worth selling to CEO and sell, you know, with ghost organization. And then help your friends also because your friends they're not gonna be making that much money back selling as a CEO So the right thing to do would be ask your friends if they want to sell anything and just help them sell also now moving on here to show you guys how much money I can make from these bonuses. Selling the second full large crate warehouse sold it for $4,400,000, but we got $5,550,000 back. So we got a $1,150,000 bonus. Plus we sold that special rare crate earlier, special two rare crates I should say for $480,000. Now we're moving on to the bunker. That's also double money. Selling it for $2,100,000. Selling it in full lobby. That's a $21,000 bonus. And during this sale, we had a little bit of an incident one of my friends got disconnected so it was only us three and we didn't manage to make all the drops in time but what we did was we made 17 out of 20 drops I had this griefer right here come right after me at the end of the sale I wasn't able to get to the drop off but what we did was we hit 17 out of 20 drops and if you lose a little bit of product as long as it's not like a crate sale because a crate sale if you lose a little bit it will end always but if you lose a little bit of product if it's an mc business or a bunker then keep selling if it's also a hanger and you lose a little bit of stuff don't sell with the hanger because that will affect that big hanger bonus and get a 25 crates and 50 crates but as you guys can see even though we didn't get the full bonus back we got two million two hundred thirty three thousand dollars so i still got a one hundred thirty thousand dollar bonus there so we made up the difference if you lose more than one third of your product you're selling the bunkers or the MC business at that point I would just close app or find a new session but other than that if you're selling that full lobby keep selling as long as you make like 12 out of 15 drops you'll still make a good amount of money back but moving on to the last business here we're selling the hanger and we're selling the hanger for one million seven hundred thousand dollars and we sold it for two million eighty seven thousand that is a three hundred eighty seven thousand five hundred dollar bonus back so you can see you can make massive bonuses from selling in these full 30 player lobbies let me show you guys a chart of just how much this all adds up okay so here we are at the end with the chart 
And I also forgot to mention one thing, guys. That 1% bonus will not work on people that are in your CEO and MC. It will only count for players that are outside your CEO and MC. It doesn't matter if they're friends or not, just as long as they're not in your CEO or MC, you will get a 1% bonus back for them. The max bonus that you can get is 25%. That's the max that you can get back. So take a look at this. This is the double money businesses that I sold yesterday. Warehouse One, I was selling it for $4,440,000. That is a $44,400 bonus, 1% per player. And I was selling it in a full lobby. I also got a little bit more because I got the bonus mission on the truck for a good um, clean delivery. So I got $5,565,198 dollars back i got a one million one hundred sixty thousand dollar bonus nice and for warehouse number two i got a one million one hundred fifty thousand dollar bonus that's five million five hundred fifty thousand for the bunker we were selling it for two million one hundred thousand dollars that's a twenty one thousand dollar bonus per player but again remember we delivered 17 out of 20 drops we could have got more but even with that the bonus still made up the difference and i still made up a one hundred thirty-three thousand dollar bonus on top of that, so you can make some pretty good money with this hanger. It was double money. It was selling for one million seven hundred thousand dollars. That's a seventeen thousand dollar bonus, and we got two million eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars back. We made a three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollar bonus just by selling in that populated lobby. And again, remember, if somebody's going after your stuff. Just find a new session or just close your application so you can risk in these sessions. And if somebody goes after you, just leave the session. You lose a little bit, but you still keep the most of it. So you can keep taking risks and you can make much more money back. Now moving on to the last chart. And this chart right here, you guys should screenshot this chart, take a picture of this chart just so that you can use this for reference. This shows all the businesses in the game that you can make the high demand bonus on. And I've calculated exactly how much money you can make back for them. And I've made this amount for every single one of these businesses. So for a full warehouse, when it's not double money, 111 crates sells for $2,220,000. That is a $22,200 bonus per player. And you can get $2,775,000 back instead of $2,220,000. That is over a $500,000 bonus selling that popular lobby, over an extra half a million dollars that you can make. And for a full bunker, Normally, it'll sell for $1,050,000. That is a $10,500 bonus per player. You can make $1,312,500 back. Full document forgery. Document forgery, you don't really get that much money back. It sells for $126,000. That's a $1,260 bonus, but you can still make some extra money. So, you know, if you're selling document forgery, sell it in a populated lobby because, you know, it's not worth that much any anyhow and you can make some extra money there so you can basically make about a thirty thousand dollar bonus on that but as it increases in value the bonus also increases so for full weed sells for two hundred fifty two thousand dollars that is a two thousand five hundred twenty dollar bonus per player and you can make three hundred fifteen thousand dollars back full counterfeit cash it sells for two hundred ninety four thousand dollars that's a two thousand nine hundred forty dollar bonus per player and it sells for three hundred sixty seven thousand five hundred dollars full meth sells for $357,000, that's a $3,570 bonus per player, and it sells for $446,250, almost a $100,000 bonus there. But then with the cocaine business, it sells for $420,000, and that's a $4,200 bonus, sells for a max of $525,000, that's a $105,000 bonus there. And the nightclub, it sells for $1,690,000, but the bonus here is not going to be $16,900. It's actually going to be $15,900, because when Tony takes the max cut that he takes, that's $100,000, $100, it'll be subtract, it, the bonus will be based on that amount that Tony takes, the final sell amount. So it'll be based off $1,590,000, and you can make a max of $1,987,500 back with the nightclub. That's pretty good. And again, remember, the nightclub produces for free. You don't got to buy supplies or anything for it. It produces for free. And the hangar, it sells for $850,000. That's with narcotics, chemical, and medical, the three best crates, 50 crates of one type. And you get an $8,500 bonus. And you get $1,062,000 back. So you can make massive bonuses with this high demand bonus selling in these populated lobbies. So, I mean, 
take advantage of it. Sell in free aim lobbies, you know, use, um, sell it as a CEO, use ghost organization. You know, if somebody goes after your stuff, just find a new session, check what kind of lobby it is. If people are killing each other there, you don't want to sell them there. So anytime anybody asks me in the future about like these bonuses, I'm going to refer them to this video. You know, I've talked about these bonuses a lot in my previous videos and I've talked about it on streams, but I never made like a video like showing a chart like this, just detailing exactly the bonus for all the businesses. You know, I don't have import export on here because import export, you don't get a bonus on for that. But import export, you should still sell in a lobby with at least one player because then hostile NPCs won't spawn during sale missions. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did drop a like, if you're new to my channel, join my account, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.